when you need to add another page or a link underneath one of your subsites, um, so for example, I'll sh I'm going to walk you through an example. Underneath About Us, I want to add a dire the directions to the school here. The page is already built out. It's already underneath this About Sections Pages Library. So what I'm going to do is go to Site Actions, Site Settings. I'm going to go to underneath Look and Feel. I'm going to select Navigation. Here, I'm going to scroll down. You always want to work underneath your current navigation not the global navigation, you never touch that because that's this part up here and that's the same on every school. So underneath your current navigation, you want to make sure that you work in this navigation, editing, and sorting area. And instead of um, adding a link to the page, you're going to add a heading. Headings allow the... Um, sorry, headings allow the... Um, Subsite navigation to collapse. If we didn't add a heading, this page would show up on your home page, and I'll show you that as well. So I'm going to go to About Us. I'm going to go to the Pages Library. I'm going to select Directions to Murray. Click OK. And then I'm going to click OK here. And there it is. So now if we wanted to, if you added a link, I'm just going to show you what happens. Um, directions, I'll call this one, browse, same thing, we're going to select that page, click OK, click OK again, now I'm going to save, oh this is also something in the navigation you already know, moving up and down, I'm just going to put them down next to each other, I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to show you from the, very, from the school's homepage, which is the very top level of the site collection, if we go to um, the homepage here, directions shows up because that's the link, not the heading. So you always want to make sure you use a heading when you're adding a page or a link on your side, your subsite navigation. And I'm going to go back and fix this real quick.